Besides National Housing and Construction Company, many companies and individuals have invested in housing, but these facilities are not affordable to many Ugandans. To make these houses cheaper for Ugandans to afford, government plans to have housing investors get mortgages at low interest rates. We are in advanced stages of discussion within the government and the other partners to see whether we can secure money that the banks can then compete for and we have it housed within our own banks, which then can be accessed at the lower interest rates. State Minister for Housing, Dr. Chris Bariamon, says government will provide roads and utilities to make houses affordable to low-income earners. He spoke at the groundbreaking ceremony for 90 apartments at Najera Heights in Kampala. I have been told that in most cases that constitutes up to 30 percent, in some cases 50 percent, 30 to 50 percent of the cost of the house. What we are doing as government is that we are going to put resources, we have already started and we, we are partnering with investors if you are putting up apartments, we can work with you together with the various government agencies. However, BuildNet, which provides quality and affordable housing options, wants government to reduce taxes on building materials to enable them to construct cheaper houses for Ugandans. Especially those ones which are being imported, so that the cost of construction of these units actually comes down. The construction of the units at Najera Heights will cost $6 million. The apartments whose completion is planned for October 2020 will have one, two, and three bedrooms and will cost between 115 and 270 million shillings. The amenities in this estate, such as the swimming pool, such as the lifts in the building, such as the automatic standby generator, uh, the, the basement parking down for the clients, and as many other amenities, all these ones contribute to the cost of the unit. BuildNet also has a five-year plan to construct 4,800 housing units in the country. According to Barrio Monsi, this will go a long way in reducing the deficit of 2.5 million housing units in Uganda. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight.